Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to admin soft accounts. In this podcast we're going to show you how to export some of the reports that you can generate within the program. So we will start with the sales daybook. So I'm going to go up to the sales ledger and look for the reports. I'm going to come down and here I have the report for the daybook for the sales ledger. So we click on that and it asks me what sort of transactions do I want to actually record here and print out and I can take either all of them or just a selection of them I can filter them by department, I can do subtotals and the date range I can do take is I can take this into October because I know I've got transactions in October I'm not quite sure they did have in September and I want to export it to Microsoft Excel so I've selected Microsoft Excel there so I'm now going to click on report and you can see it's giving me a message that it is creating the report and I now know it's created the report and it's in Microsoft Excel so I'm going to open that report up and there you have the report for the sales daybook with various summaries on it in Microsoft Excel. So let's just minimize that. I'll close that. Obviously if we can print out the sales daybook then the other daybook that we are interested in is to go to the purchases ledger and to select the daybook here. And you can see again it gives me the same options. Do I want to print out invoices, debit notes, credit notes, payments made and so on or do I just want to select some? I'm going to leave it at all of them. Once again I'm going to alter the date because I know that I need to for this. And I'm going to export it to Excel. And it's now creating the report. Now if I go down here, I think you can see this in the record. It does in fact create separate workbooks for each report. So you would have to do some extra work if you wanted to put them into the same workbook as different worksheets. But there is my purchases daybook in an Excel format where I could do some more work on it if I wished. So that's how to export to Excel from admin soft accounts. Let's just close that. I'm not going to save it. And I'm going to close the other one as well. We are. And now the next thing that we're going to export, we're going to go back to the sales ledger and we're going to look for, here we are, a report and we're going to look for statements for customers. And it says, well, which accounts do I want? Well, I'm not going to do every one. I'm just going to go from Dingwall through to Dingwall. In other words, I'm only going to generate the first statement. Now I can print the statements, right? Or what I can do is I can say, okay, what else can I do with it? Well, I could send them to Microsoft Words. Now it says print transactions from the 27th of the 10th. Uh, let me just go back and do I need to go yes, I think I need to go back here. And I could pull up the little calendar and I will go back to the first of the tenth. Now note there's a little warning at the bottom here that if we do customer statements to anything other than the printer. If I do it to Word, then each customer will get a separate statement as a separate Word file, which can be a little irritating, but nevertheless, it would still work, I think, as an export. So it's going to now generate my statement for my customer, and it's going to generate that in Word. So I'm just going to bring that up and show you. Here's my customer statement for Dingwall contractors and with today's date on it, indicating my terms, what their credit limit is and indicating what the outstanding amount is. So that's the generation of statements, customer statements. I'm not going to say that again. Uh, so what else can we do? Well, there's one more that I think is worthy of doing and that is 
to go into the stock control or inventory control and to do a general stock report or report of all inventory so I'm going to pull that up it says list in order of stock code that's fine and once again I'm going to put I'll put an output to word again there are other options and I'm going to pull in this as a report here we are it's come up as a word file and here's my stock report for the quantity that I have for beach hedging, chainsaws, electric chainsaws and so on. So there are 10 lines that I've got in stock and I've got also the total cost of the stock and the retail value. Now generating the report like that can be quite useful if you've got to then send someone around to do a physical check of stock. So a general stock report has that sort of use. Okay, again we're not going to save this. So what we've done then is to generate reports for the day books and to export those to Excel and we've done both customer statements and stock reports and we have exported those to Word and that's in admin soft accounts. Thank you.